I mean, so what do you think from back then in the 80s to now, what has transitioned? What has changed? Wow. Um, to be honest with you, Chris, for me, it's pretty much the same. There are okay. some things that have changed, but because I'm still mainly with Tamir's, they're still the same, aren't they? You know, they're re-re and re-re, which again is something I think is good, but also I think they need to bring a, a, a few new kits now. Obviously, you've got the batteries are different. Yeah. Although I'm still running mainly nickel metal hydride. Okay. Um, a lot of people, again, keep going on to me, why don't you use what LiPo? Why LiPo, don't you do this? Yeah. I'm like, you know, okay, but my cars run quite well with NIMS. Yeah. Um, I have, I've been sent a, um, a battery to test for free, which was a, a LiPo, and it was a little bit better. I tested it in my um, Blitzer Beetle, okay. and that got an increase of about, I think it was 10, 10% speed, top speed. Um, but in my standard motored cars, which have just got the silver cans, mm-hmm. it didn't make that much difference. Um, so there's that. The, the other bigger difference is the uh, the new speed controllers, the ESCs, because oh, okay. as you remember back in the day, there were those mechanical <laughs> three Amazing. Steps. Yeah. yeah. Glad yeah. those have gone, to be yeah. honest with you. Uh-huh. Although it was being able to whack it from full forward to full reverse, that kind of uh, stop and then break and then reverse. Right, right. Um, so that's changed. Um, I'm still using, as we call, the wibbly wobbly. So the uh-huh. uh, 27 meg. Um, I still use that a lot of the time, mainly, Chris, down to cost, again, yeah. because uh, I, I'm not the uh, richest of people. Um, and Me neither. As you're know, trying to do this hobby um, with the cost of the kits as they are, um, I've got uh, about 20-ish Tamiya's now. Okay. And to buy the radio sets for all of them um, is just, to me, adds that cost. Probably would have cost another two or three hundred pounds on top of what yeah. I've already spent. So mm-hmm. I just use the old AM receivers, uh, as you know, and just swap the crystals. So that's how I started. Wow. I have got a couple of um, uh, 2.4 gig transmitters and now, but I, again, I swap those between the cars also. So okay. keeps the keeps the running costs down. Um, yeah, yeah I, I got the old Futaba radios. Do you still have the traditional two? I see you on one of your videos. You still have the traditional two levers. Yeah, I always use the twin stick. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, that's amazing. Yeah, even, yeah. yeah, even the two point four gig systems I've got um, a, a twin stick. Oh, that's great. So, yeah, yeah those I've tried are fun. Uh, a steering wheel, but I'm I'm just not so good with them. I don't really, know. Yeah, it's you know when you're kind of uh, what's it called um, muscle memory or something like that. So yeah. you get that used to it that you don't yeah. think yeah you, you just do it you just drive the car yeah yeah. But as I find I get that steering wheel, I'm thinking right left. It's I <laughs> know. Yep. So, yep. I need to, I need to get it you know into uh, the new scene I think I need to get into it. Um, it's all they really have with the ready to run kits. It's all it's all yeah. these little sticks. I mean and but they feel like nothing. Like you know with the old my old Futaba radios were so heavy duty. They had such yeah. a weight to them and they felt like I mean you can you know you can hit somebody with it it would hurt. You know I mean these today they they're so flimsy. I mean, plus you had to put eight eight batteries, eight, eight AA batteries in yeah. to, back then. Yeah. Now there may be three, uh, four, or at mo- uh, I've seen some down to three, three batteries, double A's, uh, but most of them are four. Uh, but even like from Arma, uh, you know, like you get their transmitters, they feel like nothing. But flimsy. There's, there's like nothing. There's if you open them up, I'm sure there's like hardly anything in them. You know, but uh, the old Futabas, man, I mean, they had such weight to them. And I still use them on my old, my old uh, Tamiya cars. I mean, and they work fine. Cool. You know, I I don't have a problem, you know. So I'll be honest, like some of the things I I get some interference with some of the new radios, depending where I'm racing around, if there's power lines or something or whatever interference, I have had some range issues, you know, with some of the the newer radios. Maybe the old tech is just immune. I don't know. It's weird you should say that because a few people have commented about the safety of using the old AM stuff, but um, I've never had a problem. Like yeah. you say, sometimes there's a bit of a range issue, but um, sometimes there's like a dead spot. Um, right. if, like I'm racing around the trees, it might go behind the tree and it'll cut out momentarily and then it'll come back. But what generally happens is the car just stops. Mm-hmm. But it's funny because I got back into the uh, the hobby with my son a few years ago, when he got to about 13 or 14, he found um, the Monster Beetle up in the loft. Okay. 
and uh, said, hey, Dad, you know, what's this? You know, can we get this going again? So after my break of, like like you said, the same uh, about 20 years, uh, he's what got me back into it. So we built that back up together. Out nice. of spec. And then uh, I ordered um, two cars the same. I think there were two um, Tamiya Superfighters, I think they were, the um, DTO2s. Okay. So we had two of those, and it came as a package with the uh, 2.4 gig radios. Oh. And uh, we took them up the park. We ran them a few times. And I rem- remember the once um, I got mine going. I turned around the corner onto the straight, and it just kept going. Mm-hmm. Like, oh, my God, transmitter, you know, turn it off, on. The thing was going. So I <laughs> the transmitter. I ran across the park. Oh, the my gosh. We were about um, 50 yards from uh, a main road, quite a busy main road mm-hmm. in the park. And I'm running behind this car thinking, please, no, please, no. And it did. It just kept going dead straight. It wow. jumped bank and it went straight into the road. Ah. Luckily, it didn't uh, hit a car. There were no cars coming. It went straight across the road and into oh. a wall. Plastic explosion. <laughs> <laughs> that, that was the end of that. I um, can imagine. Wow. That was, that was 2.4 gig. Um, yeah. I, I sent them straight back. The, the place was great. They gave me replacements with um, upgraded ones, and I haven't had a problem since. But it just shows you, um, just because it's more modern doesn't mean that it's not going to fail. Mm-hmm.